Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another video. And today we are on F1 2019. So since getting this wheel, I've decided I want to challenge myself and um, sort of get into more sim racing, get into F1 and all those kind of games. So as F1 2020 is on the line uh, coming out, I think it is July at some point. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that coming out. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and get back into the swing of things, get back into F1. And today what we're going to do is we're going to be doing an F1 2019 Grand Prix. Right, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to Silverstone, which is the uh, Brit as British as it will get. Right, so we are starting our first practice session. We are uh, Lewis Hamilton today. Um, let's take a look, see what kind of stuff we're looking at. So we're looking at not great weather. Um, I'm wanting to, by the looks of it, we're going to start out on a hard compound of tires, so... Right, let's do this. Let's go. Okay, we are in control of the car now. Nice. Oh, not very good there. Okay, just want to remind you to keep an eye on your tire temperatures, which you can do on the temperature panel of the MFD. We monitor carcass temperature and surface temperature, and you yes. get the best performance when they're both inside a normal operating window. Surface temps tend to fluctuate faster, so try a few laps with the data open and get a feel for how to control them. And DRS. So I've swapped around uh, B and Y just so it's easier for me to press on the wheel. Alright, let's get into the swing of things. Speed trap, second. That was a dreadful first lap there. Oh, no! Nice. Some nice corners there. DRS. Eighth on top speed there. Fastest lap though. Here we go. That corner is really tight. Right, let's try a rich mix for a little bit. Nice. Get some really good speed in these corners here. Nice. Oh, we went well past that corner there. Right, let's do one last fast lap.
We need to make sure that timer in the corner is green. Come on, let's do this. Perfect. And slow down. Oh, one thirty four point six. Perfect. Right, we're on an in lap now. We've still been on rich mix that entire time. So we should probably turn it down to a lean mix. Right, so we are here at the short qualifying session. Uh, we have 18 minutes to set ourselves the fastest time on the track. Uh, park Fermi rules, once the car leaves the pit lane, Park Fermi rules will take effect. No further changes to the setup, that's understandable. Let's go for a flying lap. Right, so let's just double check our mixes. We are on... The strongest mix possible. That's good. Alright, make sure everything is properly warmed up. And now floor it. Let's see how well of a qualifying time we can do. For three into third, accelerate, drop down to second. Nice, perfectly timed there. Here we go. Onto the old classic straight. 135.6 is the fastest lap of the session. A little bit of loss of grip towards the back of the car there. 201 miles an hour we hit. Six, five, four, three. Perfect. Round the corners. Let's go for a second lap. Fantastic. That was the fastest lap. Ah, uh, too wide. Right, so let's take a look at our session info. Um, by the looks of it, okay, so we were on soft for qualifying. I'm not liking that too much. Uh, time in so far, we are four seconds faster than uh, second place. And we can see our live TV feed here. Got all the different races here. It's looking all right. Uh, let's run back out for another flying lap. Another two qualifying laps. I'm going to try and preserve as much of the ERS at the moment. Right, let's go. Uh, 
Amazing. Nice. Back onto classic straight. Times are looking really nice. Leclerc's actually gotten up into second place. So he's gotten faster than Vettel. Come on, right. This corner is going to be an absolute meh. There we go, perfect. Drop it down into second gear. And then bring it up. I want to be at least sixth by the time there. Perfect. Ah, oh, nicely done getting past there. Slow down a bit too much for that corner. Nice. Dropping down through those gears rapidly. Right, here we go. Grip the track there. One, two, three, four. Dropping down into second. One, two, three, dropping into fourth gear. And then drop it down once more to third for this corner. And then drop it down one gear for this corner and one gear for this corner. And then back up to six by the DRS zone. Into third. I don't think I should have shifted up there, actually. That wasn't a smart idea. Race officials have enabled DRS. DRS is now available. Yay, DRS. Woo! Nice. So we're going to be on the soft tyres till about 15 minutes into the race. And then we're going on to... We went very wide there. Uh, and then we're going to be going on to harder tyres, which I think is about lap 10 or 11 we're going to be pitting. I don't know. Can we... 10 to 13.
try and get rid of that screen. A little bit slower in that section there, but that's understandable. We're not trying to be the fastest at the moment. Nice. Seconds. Seven seconds ahead. Jesus, that is a huge distance. In fact, I don't think Rich Mix is actually a good idea based on the fact that we will be going through the pits at some point. I think what I might do on lap, if our window is lap, 10 to 13 if I hmm, put it onto lean revs on lap 8 and put it on lap 11 or lap 12 I want to try and leave it as late as possible but early enough that I've gotten myself enough time to gain that posi those positions back but then I also don't want to wear the new set of tyres out too much that it completely destroys my run. The amount of cheese that these cars must produce under braking is insane. Oh, very wide at that corner there. I think we definitely need to pump up the AI difficulty because I had it on 60 before. So yeah, I think AI can definitely be pumped up now that I have a wheel. Because I'm doing so much better. Normally I would still be stuck with them, with the controller. So it's good to see that the wheel actually makes an improvement. And it makes it so much more fun as well. Right, uh, let's bump this down into a lean mix for a bit. The more fuel we have, the more we have to spend. Oh, I didn't shift down. That might have helped. Car seems to be struggling a little bit, but it's not too much of a problem yet. Be aware, we expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. Hopefully, it's not too bad. I'm going to start taking it a little bit easy because we've got that huge gap between us, in front and behind. That corner is taken at like 160 miles an hour. That is crazy fast. Right, drop down one gear to sixth. Drop down one more to fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Up to eighth. Break into sixth. And then up to seventh. And then slowing down to third gear for the chicane. If 
Okay, so pit window is open. Pit window open. Let's box this lap. I'm not boxing this lap. I'm going to box on lap 12. Fuel-wise, we've got an extra three laps, which is looking... Oh, very neato. Definitely shouldn't do that while I'm... Uh, checking stuff. What is that tyre wear looking at, though? 46% on the front right. The front left and the front right is 38%, so not the best of all positions I want to be in right now. Some information on Leclerc. They have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. There we go. Pit stop. Time for a drink break. Right, we're going to pump it up to a rich mix. Ready. Valtteri is in the pits. Exit. Exit now. I think we want to start out on lean while we're in the pit lane. Actually, no, that's going to go down anyways. Right, we're ready. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Right, hopefully the tyres are warm enough. Okay, so there's a little less grip at the moment. There's a little bit... Yeah. We are understeering like crazy at the moment while we are waiting for these tyres to warm back up to an operating temperature. Right, I want to keep this menu open, keep an eye on the fuel levels. And first and second have gone into the pits now. Which is giving us a huge lead now. It will be a good idea actually to shift up to 8 for that one. Just because of the fact it will save fuel while we're on the rich revs. And we went way too wide on that corner there. Oh, we went way too wide there. Ah, oh, we got a little bit of wing damage. Be careful with the front wing. You've taken some minor damage. could actually pit in for a new front wing, but uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. Perfect. Dropping down five gears there. Oh, there's been an accident on the track over there. I'm feeling safety car me. Oh! Daniel Kvyat is out of the session. Let's go down to standard revs for a bit. Someone's come off ahead of you. There's a yellow flag ahead. Yellow flag. There we go. And continue racing. 
green flag. Let's go. Okay, we should be good on tyres for a while. The wear doesn't seem too bad at the moment. Just take care when you load them up. Nice. Caps are looking very good at the moment. And slam onto the brakes, drop it down to six. Approaching back markers, blue flag. I cannot remember what a blue flag is. Isn't it a slow vehicle? I think it's slow moving vehicles, so it means that they have to let faster vehicles pass. Pretty sure. laps of fuel remaining and we also have five laps remaining so that seems very good it seems they fixed whatever the problem was they're coming back up to speed ah so they had a malfunction and the car was slow ah. Russell, I'm coming for you. Gap to teammate behind is 37.7 seconds. Oh no, dreadful. Come off. There we go. But this is the first chance we get DRS. of fuel remaining. Three laps of fuel. And we have plenty of laps of the race anyways. Blue flags are out again. Come on, Russell. Right, slowing down, brakes. Why did I shift down like that? Ah, uh, that was dreadful. Okay, clear. Russell's out of the session. Oh no. Oh, we're probably going to get a safety car. I can guarantee you we're going to get a safety car. No? No safety car? We don't have a lot of front downforce left, but we've also only got one lap left. And let's slow. Perfect. 
the car behind's catching you at a rate of about two seconds a lap. Two seconds a lap? Blue flag area again. Slow. Drop. And drop. And we're getting to the DRS zone. Let's do this. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Pump it up to Rich Rev, see who we can overtake. Ricardo. Drop it down to lean. Just get to the finish now. And bring it back up to standard. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Come on, we can do this. Let's get this final lap done. Nailed. Amazing. So we've had two cars eliminated out of the session. Which I'd say is... Pretty typical of F1, you normally get at least one or two cars that don't make it to the finish line. Our car is very low on fuel right now. So I'm going to shift up a little bit earlier, see if we can save on a tiny bit of fuel. Sixth gear, coming around the final corner very wide there, or second to last corner. And here we go. The checkered flag, woo! Great drive, we did it, good job. First place, I will take that quite happily. That was a very good race there. The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. And here we go. It's great to Woo. see them up on that podium once again. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Well, Lance Stroll would be my pick. He managed to keep a cool head today whilst pushing through the field. Well, Ants, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Keep